Hi friends, you have already seen my first impression on this new microwave oven model MJ2886BFUM. In this video, I am going to explain about the control panel of this model and it will be followed up with more videos covering various other aspects and also in other languages. So come on, let's see. So the control panel of this uh, microwave oven is uh, very simple. There are very few buttons and it is not a touch panel but normal buttons and you can see there are only few buttons here at the top you can see the display panel and then there are three buttons here for the three modes of cooking then you have the these six buttons for the auto cook menu and a single dial and two buttons stop and start button so I'll explain these buttons in detail now so firstly the display digital display this will show uh, everything right from the mode selected whether you selected any of these modes if you have selected any of these auto cook menu it will show the option and also the time weight or temperature will be displayed and also when it is running it will show the remaining time so three these three buttons are for the various modes of cooking so first we will explain the micro mode this is for microwave for uh, cooking and reheating and as you press this uh, button once you get the microwave symbol and 900 this is the power level by default it goes to the highest power level that is 900 watts in this microwave oven and you can reduce it next level is 720 then 540 360 and 180 once again you press it goes to 900 so there are five power levels and this uh, symbol blinking here means dial so i have to select time using this dial whatever time required for cooking if I select and then you can see the symbol here for start I press start and cooking starts so one more method of operating the microwave mode is uh, by using the dial first for setting up the time say I am selected one minute and then uh, select the power level later on if I just press start straight away it will be in full power if I want to reduce the power I can reduce like this and then press start. So next option is the grill mode. This is the symbol for grill. As you know grill is used for uh, browning and roasting of food items. As you see the dial is blinking so you have to select the time for grilling. There is no power level for this. Select the time and then press start. Start button is blinking. I'll cancel it. There is one more option here combination. So when you press once, it goes to the grill mode. When you press the second time, it goes to the combination mode. Combination of either grill and microwave or convection and microwave. The two symbols of grill and convection are seen here. The fan symbol is for convection. So when I press once more, there is a third time, it goes to the combination of grill and microwave. So now I can, because the, the microwave symbol is blinking, I have to press the micro symbol here i have three power options available 180 270 and 360 in the combination mode for the microwave now you can see the dial so with this dial i can select the time time for the combination cooking see supposing i want to cook for six minutes of combination of microwave and grill i've selected the time now and then start is blinking so i have to just press start cancel it so now i have already shown how to use combination of uh, grill and uh, microwave now with this i'll with by pressing this convection button i've selected the combination of convection and microwave you can see both the symbols here micro symbol as well as convection symbol by default it is showing 180 degrees centigrade now if i want to change the temperature so first i'll have to change the temperature you can see the dial symbol so with the help of the dial say i want to bake at 200 degrees centigrade with the dial I have increased it now the microwave symbol is blinking again I have the three options three power levels I'll keep it at 180 itself now again the dial is blinking with this I can set the time I want to bake for 15 minutes so I've selected the micro micro power I've selected the temperature I've selected the time I have to just press start start button is blinking I press start So the third option is the convection mode. Convection is uh, generally used for making uh, or baking 
cakes, cookies, bread, biscuits, etc. Whatever we bake in an OTG, normal OTG can be baked using this convection mode. And you can see the symbol here. Fan symbol is for convection. Uh, generally in micro ovens, when you select convection mode and the temperature, it by default goes to preheat. Preheat is uh, preparing the chamber to that particular temperature which we want. But here in this uh, model, they have given two options. You can go straight away to convection without preheat or select preheat and then convection. Both I'll show both the ways. So convection by default 180 degrees centigrade. I want to bake at 200 degrees centigrade. Now the start button is blinking. I press start. Now again two buttons are blinking, both the dial button and the start button. So when I select the start button, I press start, it goes to preheat mode. And if I select the dial button, it goes to the direct convection mode, direct baking mode without preheating. So now I'll press the start button. It's gone to preheat at 200 degrees centigrade. That means the chamber will get ready at 200 degrees centigrade. And you keep your thing to be baked at after that, after the preheat is over. Now I cancel this. I'll show the other option. Both are blinking. Now I'll select the dial option. Dial option means I'll be selecting the time. Say I want to bake for 10 minutes. So now again the start is blinking. I press start. So it directly goes into baking for 10 minutes at 200 degrees centigrade. So there are two options here provided. Next are these six buttons. These are for the auto cook menu. There are 271 recipes which can be selected using these six buttons. You can see them listed here. And everything is given uh, in detail in the manual. I'll explain all those in detail in a separate video. I'll just quickly uh, run through. So the diet fry and low calorie button. They, it has got so many options here. Diet fry, helpless soup, continental. So various recipes are given. Then there is this uh, charcoal option. So this is a charcoal model. So there are 25 recipes using this charcoal option. Then you have this Indian roti basket. 25 again 25 recipes in which you can make different types of uh, Indian rotis or parathas. Then you have this ghee and Indian cuisine. Which again uh, there are plenty of options here. Ghee, Indian cuisine, sweet corner, rice delight. So various items can be prepared using these selecting these options. Then pasteurized milk and also tea, dairy delight. All these are uh, uh, selected using this button. So you've got various options in this for boiling milk, making tea, coffee and uh, etc. And there is the finally the kids delight and uh, cooking aid, steam clean. It's a combined uh, button for that which is uh, recipes for uh, kids, bakery items and as well as other special functions like uh, cleaning and uh, cooking aid are selected with this button. Next in the control panel is the most important uh, control that is a dial. This is a very versatile control as compared to buttons because it is very uh, simple to operate. This is mainly used for increasing and de decreasing uh, temperature, time and weight. I have already shown in various examples. So lastly these two buttons start and stop. So first I will tell the start button. The start button can be used for two three purposes. One is once you have selected all the options of uh, mode of cooking, time, weight etc. You press this for uh, starting the program. Second purpose is if you have stopped for some reason you want to resume it also you use the start button. And the third is, third and very important or very versatile function is this 30 second function which by pressing start it goes into quick cooking mode of 30 seconds in microwave mode full power and you can increase it by pressing once it increases by 30 seconds every time you press. So now the stop button is used for stopping or pausing the operation as you have seen now and I press once more it clears everything so it is a stop as well as clear button and there is one more function here energy saving which by default it goes after some time of not using if the microwave is not in operation it automatically switches off by it saves this uh, save the power by the display going off 
I can also do it by pressing this button. Hope you liked watching this video. Thank you for your support. Take care and bye bye till my next video.